I once had it all. My palate was sated, nostrils stimulated, standing venerated. And one day, you took everything away but shame and pain. I'm still not sure what game you're playing, but I'm back. Taking what's mine. It made me think of your poem. Congratulations. Look, I'm aware of the rat's presence, okay? But nothing can be done about it. They've been on this island as long as anyone can remember. It's in our best interest to leave them be. Dear, congratulations once again on winning our competition. Let us repeat, your submission astonished us, and we are delighted to welcome you in our hermitage. Make yourself at home. The whole lighthouse is at your disposal. The author of the winning essay will receive an opportunity to write the book on the subject in our lighthouse, accommodated especially for this purpose. is at your disposal. My ass. I'm an adult, Mama. Crippled or not, I can take care of myself now. It's time for you to focus on yourself. 
I can't wait to read that book. Hello? I received the word that you came to the lighthouse. You find everything to your liking. Well, that was fast. Yeah, I'm here. I'm very pleased to hear it. Now, are you writing? What? You must understand, Mrs. It is imperative that you start your work as soon as possible. I will remind you that you signed a contract. Uh -huh. now, it is very specific on the timeline. I, I would advise you abide by it. Goodbye. Now that was a conversation I was too sober for. Our sources say 428 entries have been submitted to the agency. The entry that won was surprising, to say the least. It wasn't a scholar who won it, nor someone with proper education that would give him an understanding of life. It was a sensationalist, a horror writer, and... Might as well make some good use of the phone while I'm here. Hello? Hi, darling. I'm calling to let you know I'm here. Can you believe the agency already called to see if I was working? That's insane. Did you at least have time to settle in a bit? How's the lighthouse? Inspiring? Spooky? Haunted? All of these things. I was just looking around and it's... certainly something. How are you? Do the meds work? Don't you worry about me, Mama. This is your time to do your work. To live your life. <gasps> well, maybe you're right. I should probably get to it then. Bye, son. Love you. Love you too, Mama.
I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. I'd like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialists, as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind, and as such, decided not to act further than a prophylactic spray. Please treat this letter as a final warning, or else. The next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. Figured you'd be up all night, so I made you a little treat. You know, I bet even Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and snored his head off like the rest of us common folk. I know! <gasps> In other words, get some sleep, you big dummy. I love you. Some call him the new Caravaggio, others compare him to Van Eyck, and one awestruck critic who wished to remain unnamed went as far as to invoke, quote, the spirit of the great Leonardo. Anyway you slice it, the exhibition proved an immense success. Its distinct style has been praised for its unique combination of Renaissance influences and more progressive techniques. The artist himself attended the event in the company of his beautiful fiancée, looking stunning in her black gown revealed to us exclusively that the couple are indeed expected. I'm sorry for yesterday. You were right. I overreacted. It's just that this isn't about me. It's about her. Everything I do, I do with her best interest in mind. I guess I've always believed that in an imperfect world, it's worth it to strive for perfection. Ah, uh, now I'm starting to sound like my father. I will work on my temper, though. Promise. We'll talk later.
How the hell did they fuck up the length? I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked. Although, I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. So sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house, for God's sake. Come talk to me when you're done, before you go to sleep. Might not be a household name yet, but just give her time. The incredibly talented multi-instrumentalist gave an astounding performance last night, winning over even the most ardent naysayers. Quote, She was simply astounding. I haven't seen such passion, energy, and skill in years. Stated famed pianist Daniel Richter. He was not alone in his praise. It seems even Anthony Giles, one of its harshest critics, has finally seen the light. Giles had previously made disparaging comments about the artist, stating, quote, There's more to performing music than enthusiasm in a pretty face. When asked if after witnessing last night's performance, he regrets these words, Mr. Giles gave us a look that can only be described as a mixture of awe and embarrassment. Pressed for an answer, he simply said, Yes. We caught up with the star.
The long-awaited opening of the Galactic Department store turned into hell on Earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building, having no chance to escape the raging inferno. The exact number of casualties has not yet been determined, although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured. The owner of the Galactic, Ronald Sheffield, has so far declined the comment on today's tragic events. Sorry, couldn't sleep. The leg's been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. I love you. Let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some rough times right now. I really do. That's why I've agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place, for old time's sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task, because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There is no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please, get your shit together.
No, this is private. Two souls, so passionate, so talented, and yet they wanted to build something so ordinary. A home, a wife, a family, peaceful life, betrayal of everything that made them both artists, and yet they clung to it. No, this is pro- We are truly thrilled to hear that you accepted our humble proposition. After discussing dates with my colleague, we find this date the best time to open the exhibition. We need time to set everything up. Getting a piano to our gallery will be no small feat. what it takes to make a good painting. The work doesn't start with the brush, just like family doesn't start with marriage. It starts with canvas. I can't remember the last time I wore these. The last time I could move freely.
tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. <laughs> I think I have the music for all the paintings now. I'm going to play it for you this evening. You're going to love it. Sharper, sharper. Sorry I haven't written in a while. I've been swarmed with work. I gotta tell you, your last letter was... troubling, to say the least. I just can't believe she would set fire to your old paintings. Why would she do that? The Lady in Black especially? That was your tribute to her, wasn't it? I don't know what to tell you except to get her some professional help pronto. You could probably talk to someone as well. With all that's happened, I'm sure it would do you some good. I probably don't need to tell you that the buyer was sorely disappointed with the news. The new pieces just aren't selling as well as the classics. Anyway, I'll keep looking. You just hang in there and focus on your work. I know you still have it in you. I believe in you.
matter what we did, the fireplace just wasn't enough to warm this room. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. It's just a book, Bertie. Just... This is fine. This is good. Th these are great conditions. I can finish it. I can. I will. I need to. For all our sakes. For our family. For a family? Or just for you? Go on. Tip the scales. Paint. I had the most beautiful dream last night. Don't worry, you're not alone. Perfect relationships may look great on the silver screen, but the rest of us mortals have to face the simple truth. Nobody's perfect. And you know what? That's fine. In fact, many loving couples struggle with day-to-day -day life in a relationship. This does not make them any less special. It just takes some work. And we're here to help. Our consultants, all trained experts in their field, will help you identify the source of your troubles and deal with it at your own pace. Whether it's simple miscommunication, money problems, or conflicting personalities, where there's a problem, there's always a solution. And remember, it's never too late. I think we should drop the Takata here. People won't be able to concentrate on anything but your music. It's about our family, after all. About both of us. I'm sure Thomas would agree with me. Less flashy this time. You were right, it works better. I can't wait for this opening. I've never dreamed of making art together with you. Here we are, and it's all I could have wanted.
can two people who once loved each other so fully, so profoundly, drift so far apart? My husband barely speaks to me anymore. He just slithers in and out of his study, obsessively working on one veiled painting after another. He won't even sleep with me anymore. I can tell he's disgusted by me. The look he gave me the other day. That pathetic, hurtful look. A combination of shame, guilt, and repulsion. <laughs> I've come to realize that I've become a monster in my husband's eyes. It feels like nothing a woman should ever experience. Still, being the good wife that I am, I decided to realize my husband's fantasy. If he thinks me a monster, I will sure as hell act the part. Watch him drown. Dear sir or madam, we must kindly, albeit strongly, urge you to keep your voices down during the night. Your marital problems, while regrettable, are a private matter and should remain that way. They are certainly of no concern to us, and especially our children. Please, consider that not everyone is a freelance artist. Some of us have to get up early and work for a living. We need our sleep. We must also warn you that if things continue the way they are now, we will be forced to call the police. My home is my castle. Locked inside, I am safe. Body borrowers, feeding on me, driving me insane, too fast to cut out. Always 
felt as if it wasn't my hand that wrote the letters when using it. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? In an unexpected experimental streak in his usually conservative endeavors, Thomas Caldwell hosted an extraordinary exhibition opening in his gallery. Quote, this is a great day for me and my wife, said in the opening speech. Quote, for us, this is not only an exhibition, this is how we want to live our life. This music accompanies my paintings just as she will accompany me in the future. It is rumored that after the exhibition, some kind of arrangement was set between Caldwell and... Have a responsibility. Finish it. Finish it. Anyone can paint on a linen canvas. I am not anyone.
first, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those... can two people, who once loved each other so fully, so profoundly, drift so far apart? My husband barely speaks to me anymore. He just slithers in and out of his study, obsessively working on one failed painting. I had the most beautiful- No! This is private! Body borrowers feeding on me. First, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. It must be sharper. sharper. Sharper, sharper. Moths drawn to the fire between them. No matter if it the flame was desire, despair, or hate. I hereby resign from service as maiden. House. I can't stand seeing you like this. You're not well. You were sweating and shaking all night, and, and now there you are locked in your workshop as usual. This whole tortured artist nonsense has got to stop. It's not like I'm some drunkard. I know how to handle my liquor. the fire in your office just to stop me, don't you? You hate me that much?
Don't push me away. was an edible meal. At least one that had any taste at all. Suddenly everything I find relaxing is a fire hazard. Flames, finish it. Here are the calculations you asked for. You need to also include the cost of lamps for every room. I don't care how much it costs. She's afraid of fire. We will have electricity, and that is that. Let's talk about the symbolic aspects of your work. I'd rather not. Why is that? A symbolism is a word that gets thrown around a lot, usually when people don't really know what to make of you. Uh, the worst question you could possibly ask me is, what did you mean by that? If it was that simple, I wouldn't have painted it. I would have just told you. Of course, we can talk in general about themes that have always inspired me. Duality, conflict. I think that all art revolves around some sort of struggle. Whether or not we're able to see it, of course, is, is an entirely different matter. Why did you stop? That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. you asked for.
been a while. It took me six months to be able to hold a pen again. Six long and painful months. But I finally did it. It still hurts, but the pain is just bearable enough for me to jot down a few lines. Oh, the things we take for granted. Wow, that's deep. I mean, I've seen you in my house so many times, and yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. Lice, mice, bald, bloody spots, hair, not mine. Where are the scissors? I always loved painting blood. Is this the right door for you? Canvas crawlers, mass of pulsating fur, poison to paint, fire. Final solution. Excuses. We need to fight the darkness.
here we are. I will protect myself. Yesterday, a stool broke underneath me. My cup stuck to a kitchen table. We need new servants. These people are so lazy. It's like nobody wants to work anymore. Today, I'm resigning from work at this house. I think I don't have to explain reasons. You know how life in this house looks. If I could give you some advice, think about being more understanding and a bit nicer to future servants. I'm done. I'll do it myself. Keeping the house from breaking apart can't be that hard. You understand? I'm working in here! I swear, if I'm interrupted one more time... I thought it would be harder. It should be harder. Bones shouldn't break so easily. This house is absolutely amazing. But those stairs. With that leg of mine, I think you'll have to carry me to the bedroom once we move in. Smile. 
I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Honey, what in the world are you doing? What did the doctor say about straining yourself? Leave that thing alone. It's not going anywhere. Canvas crawlers, mass of pulsating fur. Lice, mice, spot. It's been a while. It took me six months to be able to. How can two people? No, this. It's not like I'm some drunk. First, I looked. Should be harder. Bones shouldn't break so easily. I needed to remove the. Their life started to fall apart. Everything he touched turned to rot. Look, honey, it's your favorite. Come, sit with me, like in the old times. I 
will get you, you furry leeches. Get out of my house. Everything I touch breaks. Blood is the guy. Solid undercoat. A primer that will hold it all together so it doesn't rot. The world is breaking around us. you are upset, and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself, I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me, or my fellow doctors, will ameliorate the situation. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as of late and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any further correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. 
If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than competent to help you get through these hard times. We don't even use the fireplace that often, and ash is everywhere. Some paintings defy simple words, let alone critique. A basic knowledge of the subject is an absolute must if one is to even try taming them. Babyface is one such painting. This art anomaly draws tens of thousands of mediocrity enthusiasts and Sunday abstraction aficionados. In reality, it looks like a result of a week-long art marathon of a not very well-adjusted painter locked in a dark basement. Leaving aside the horrible execution, the painting itself is hideous.
can put it between the books. He'll never find it there. Such determination, such blindness. Silent floaters, they clog the drains. Oh, fur in the water, no baths for me. I'm not like her. I won't let go. I won't let my passion decay. I can't. I will finish it. If I am to be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous comments have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter, and while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to have a second opinion, I would think only 16 concurring opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly, and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you refer to as a freakish grin, or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mentioned do not seem to be physiological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, 
arduous process that will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. Locked doors between us, but it's my drinking that ruins the family? <laughs> this is childish. Piano. In the right hands, it's the most powerful instrument. It can break any man. I need the fire. Lamps are so cold. Did he... Oh, my God. No, what am I thinking?
Universal is light is still light. insane with those candles you will burn we have electricity
This is who I am. Without it, I'm broken. I have to finish it. All right, let's try this again. Finally managed to play a little. If banging on the keys awkwardly counts as playing. I won't lie. It drives me insane not to have full control of my fingers. In any case, I was promptly berated by my loving husband, who said I should be resting. I know he means well. But how will I ever get better if I don't work at it? The worst thing is, I could swear I smelled liquor on his breath. Oh, God, please. Not this again. needed a jar and a plastic tubing. Suddenly, everything I find will... I thought I broke... I will get you! Did they fuck up the length?
All I asked for was an edible meal. She named it Mr. Quiet. Mr. Quiet is her favorite toy. He never screams, she told me. He never makes a sound. Where is she? 